It's every kid's dream to win a contest. Whether it's collecting the bottle cap for a new bike or finding the cereal box that says winner. But the only thing the Garcia brothers ever got were big fat saris and big bold letters. Not Princess Lorena. Oh no, everything she touched turned to gold. Mija, this came for you, special delivery. It's from a Mighty Like You Got Productions, Inc. It must be about the contest. Is this the one where you had to name 20 different kinds of lettuce? Uh-huh. Iceberg, romaine, butter, arugula. Save your breath. Get to the rejection letter and add it to the pile. Felicidades, Selena Garcia. You are the lucky winner of the Amori Lechuga Fan Club Contest. You and your family have won a... A lifetime supply of lettuce? What does the loser get? I'm not finished. <gasps> and an all-expenses-paid trip to sunny, glamorous Hollywood. Hollywood? You will be the personal guest of Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes for lunch at the Amor y Lechuga salad bar. And the taping of an episode of Amor y Lechuga at Universal Studios. I'll never forget that day. The Amor y Lechuga fan club got three new members. <laughs> We're going to Hollywood! Hollywood. I'm going to see a Laker game. Courtside. I'm going to get me a surfboard. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to see a Laker game courtside. And buy me a surfboard. And, and get a convertible. Yeah. And I'm calling a family meeting. Right now. As in ahora. I know it says all expenses paid. But this trip's still going to cost a lot of money. I heard a hamburger costs $15 in Hollywood. Cool. I'm going to try a $15 hamburger. I don't think so. Besides, what about our plans for this year's family vacation? Washington, D.C., our nation's capital? As exciting as that sounds, mi amor, it's not every day that we win a trip to Hollywood, our nation's entertainment capital. Dad, I need to go to Hollywood. So I can see my friend, the astronaut. And I have to see my friend, Leslie. Yeah, Dad, George has to see his friend, Leslie. Who's Leslie? Leslie's my cyber friend. They've been chatting online for a couple of months. George, all of you, you need to be very careful online. You never know who you're talking to. Mom, she's a cute 13-year-old who writes really cool poetry. Well, if you want cool writing, you should read the Declaration of Independence. Hey, Dad, that's a great idea. We'll put that first on the list when we go to Washington, D.C. Next year. But this year, I'm ready to go to the bigs and meet some Hollywood hotties. Mom, maybe you could even become a hairstylist to the stars. I'm sure Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes would let you do her hair. Me? Gee, Sonia, hairstylist to the stars. You know, honey, it does have a kind of a ring to it. Of course we'd have to sell our house and move out to Hollywood. Move? No, no, no wait. Time out here. Look, Hollywood has glitz, but D.C. has history. Now, are you prepared to choose style over substance? What kind of choice was that? Yes! yes. Well, Dad had given us the speech about Hollywood being paid with broken promises, but so far, so good, because Hollywood was Hollywood. Which is a lie. Isn't this great, Nemo? Que mas quieres? But I still think D.C. would have been just as much fun. So, when are we going to the beach? Okay, one more time from the top. Lorena wins contest, Lorena takes family to Hollywood. It's all about Lorena. It's always about Lorena. Dad, a little help here? Sorry, Carlos. Amori Lechuga has a whole itinerary planned out for us. Paging Gigi Caliente. Gigi Caliente, come to the lobby. You have a guest. She said Gigi. That's my web name. But Les is not supposed to be here for another hour. I can't let her see me like this. Then you should have stuck to the internet, bro. I mean, Senor Caliente. What am I going to do? Think fast. I'm going 
must be Gigi's out by the pool. You said Gigi. I'm Gigi. But my cyber friend's name is Leslie. I'm Leslie. My friend Leslie's a girl. Well, my friend Gigi's supposed to be a girl. I mean, what kind of guy has a name like Gigi Caliente? It's the initials. G G. George Garcia. What's your excuse, Leslie? Hey, watch it! Wait a sec. You said you had beautiful brown eyes. Well, they are brown and I think they look good. You said you watched Beauty and the Beast twice and you cried both times. So? That doesn't make me a girl. Uh, I gotta go. My mom just called. Uh, yeah, um, mine too. <laughs> Later. See ya. <laughs> mom! So, did you tell your friend Leslie that you loved his poetry? Gigi and Leslie sitting in a tree. K I S. <laughs> We're finally here. I'm getting on all the rights twice. No, make it three times. All right. Hola. Somos García. Sí, nosotros somos los García. Bienvenidos a Amor y Lechuga. Me llamo Ivy y yo tiene a pasos por los programas. We speak English. Good, because that's all the Spanish I know. Follow me. Bueno, you guys. This is awesome. Does Amor y Lechuga film next to any of the rides? Actually, Amor y Lechuga tapes on the back lot. The back, back lot. Uh, you weren't kidding when you said back, back. Are we still in Hollywood? Yeah, where are all the rides? What are they taping in there? Wedgie Wars. Ooh, we have a winner. That was Leslie's favorite show. She, I mean, he probably lied about that, too. Let it go, George. Ooh, and over there is where they tape the Wrestling Organization Federation. Waff tapes here? As in, right over there? The only way things could get any better is if the astronaut was wrestling. Well, as a matter of fact, he is. He has a big matchup with his toughest opponent yet. The Space Cadet. The taping starts in 15 minutes. Cool. Good thing I brought my Robo Space Claw glove. Dad, could we go? Yeah, please, Dad. Must I remind you again? This is my prize, my day, my moment. Lorena could be so delusional. wondering if you could tell Maria de los Ojos of Silas y Grandes that my mom is an awesome hairstylist. Give her your card, Mom. Oh, honey, I'm on vacation. I don't have any cards with me. Oh, look, here's one. Best way to reach me is on my cell. I'll be happy to give it to her, but I can't disturb Miss de los Ojos Azules y Grandes. It'll break her concentration. She's in the zone. Maria de los Ojos de Solis y Grandes walked on this same floor. Maria de los Ojos de Solis y Grandes breathed this same air. Maria de los... He's going to make me puke if I hear that name one more time. Oh, Dad, uh, the astronaut's going to wrestle any minute now. we got to go. All right. I go straight there and come right back. Okay. Hey, Carlos, you're in charge of your brothers. Okay. I never thought I'd hear myself say that. Me entiendes, Carlitos? No wandering off. Me oyes? Since we're here early, I'm going to tell you guys everything there is to know about Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes. I just saw the girl of my dreams. It was vitamin C. Carl, stop. Where are you going? Can we get some place? No. I can't believe my soulmate just vanished into thin air. I thought Britney Spears was your soulmate. That was last week. Come on, guys, let's just go in. Oh, you are. Well, we're the Garcias. We were just inside. Well, now you're just outside. Come on, can't you just let us in? Look, kid, this is Hollywood. There's stars in there. Somebody's got to protect them. And that somebody is me. Well, the astronaut is in there. Somebody's got to see him. 
And that somebody is me. Don't worry, astronaut. Come in. Uh, no! 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 Oh! Calm down, little bro. Okay, okay I'm cool. I'm cool. Ah! No! No! Possible gate rushers, I need backup out here. And then, when Maria del Sojos Azules Grandes finally recovered from amnesia and hysterical blindness, it was her 12th birthday. Oh, Ivy! We've been waiting for quite a while now. Is this going to happen anytime soon? I am so sorry. We have a little crisis. One of our actresses is sick. Please, tell me it's not Maria. No, it's the little girl who's playing her long-lost daughter. We're having trouble replacing her on such short notice. Oh, really? Sorry, I have my own personal hairdresser. Stylist. I'm glad everyone's taking my advice and not letting Hollywood go to their head. What are we doing just sitting here? We've been in Hollywood for 48 hours, and all we've seen so far is a hotel room and a pool. And a cute guy named Leslie. Cut it out, Larry. Well, Mom also said I was in charge, right? So if I'm in charge, that means what I say goes, right? Well, I say we go to the top of that mountain and finish the job we came here to do. Have some fun. to rehearse your big scene yet? Wait, Mommy. I need to find my zone. Her zone? Oh, this has gone too far. Oh, Ray, Ray, this is her moment. Besides, it's just for a short time. Okay. Now, you are Maria's long-lost daughter. Her father, Don Diablo, made her abandon you in a lettuce patch. After 12 long years of searching, you finally find her. And you say... Mommy! 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 That's it? No wonder the other actors got sick. Uh, here we are. Uh, sorry about the misunderstanding earlier. I uh, didn't realize who you were, Mr. Garcia. Don't worry about it, Chuck. Just don't let it happen again. So, your big brother show you a good time? I even got you guys on the VIP tram ride. And now we're back here safe and sound, and Mom and Dad don't know a thing. Hey, thanks, bro. Yeah, you rule. Did it help you forget about Leslie? You just had to bring him up, huh? There she is. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Carlos, wait up. You are way too beautiful to go around with a frappuccino stain on your blouse. Here. Oh. Allow me. Oh, thank you. You're very sweet. Thank you. Uh, you didn't happen to see vitamin C go by, did you? I'm vitamin C. Right, and I'm Ricky Martin. <sighs> no, really. I'm vitamin C. Yeah, whatever. She couldn't have gone too far. Oh, well, you're close enough for me. Can I have your autograph? Sure. Hold this. Who do you uh, want it made out to? 
George Garcia. I mean, Gigi Caliente. Gigi Caliente. There you go. Thanks. Take care. Thanks. You gotta go find Carlos. why they called it WAF. It was a sound your body made when it hit the ground. Tough match today. The space cadet tried to put me into his gravitational pool and I... Wait a second. You're the kid. Larry Garcia. Yeah, how you doing? Does he really do remember Larry? Well, sure. He's my number one fan. Oh, can you sign my Robo Space Claw glove? Last time I forgot to ask you. No problem. Remember, you keep our secret. I cut my tongue out before I give away your true identity. Goodbye, Larry. Gone. Guess what? You just missed the astronaut. Look, look, you even signed it. Look. Man, I can't get a break. <laughs> mommy, mommy, it's her. You look fabulous, babe. Her name's Lorena. You like her hair? I did a modified trenza look with a little... Okay, here's what's going to happen. You're going to start up by this window with this head of lettuce. And you're going to say your line from the window after Maria says, Donde esta mi hija? Got it? Got it. Okay, places, people! You look fabulous. Quiet on the set! Hi, Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes. I'm the contest winner for Amor y Lechuga. Can we clear the frame, please? That means you too. You look fabulous. We're on a bell. Okay, settle, people. We're rolling. I need you to commit to this. And action. Don Diablo! Don Diablo! Don está mi hija? Don Diablo! Don Diablo! Don está mi hija? Don Diablo! What? 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 What's wrong? What's wrong? She stepped all over my lines. I'm so sorry, Maria. I didn't mean to. Can we try that again? No. I am a one-take actress, and you ruined it. Oh, I'm out of my zone now. Oh! Call me when this actress is recast. But I'm not an actress. <laughs> oh, that's obvious. No, what's obvious is that you just stepped over the line. Daddy. Security! Get this nobody off the lot now! Maria, wait! <laughs> Oops, sorry. I can't believe you just did that. It was an accident. Little girl, Venaka. I've been wanting to do that for too many years. <laughs> que preciosa. It took the innocence of a child to finally put that wicked, wicked woman in her place. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. 
She's not a very nice person. You know she doesn't even speak Spanish? Excuse me, neither do you. That's not the point. You okay, honey? I'm fine, Bobby. Better than she'll ever be. I never thought I'd say this, but let's go hang out with Lorena. Yeah, and Carlos, dream girl or no dream girl, you're on your own. George. Excuse me. Do you have the time? You're... you. You're... You're not vitamin C. No, I'm her stand-in. We're shooting our music video here on the lot. Oh. Well, would you like to stand in on a date? Oh. I'll pass. Okay. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> hey, George. If that's the stand-in, that means that the real vitamin C is wearing your jacket. And Carlos... I'm a huge idiot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, there's Mom. Come on. So, how'd it go with Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes? Who cares about her? I made my Hollywood debut, and the director called me fabulous. Did you enjoy WAF? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, we did. Sure. Yeah, it was great. Of course. All right, let's go. We'd only been in Hollywood a few days, and already we were acting up a storm. It was probably something in the smog. Hey, George. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm visiting. I'm a big fan of Amore Lechuga. Don Diablo is really cool. But I don't like that Maria chick. By the way, thank you very much for loaning me your jacket. It was very sweet of you. Would it be okay if I email you? Sure. Hey, do we have a card? This is my top secret web address for special fans only. <laughs> George, where exactly did you meet vitamin C? Uh... Boys, you got some splaining to do. Well, it well, is like this. It was 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 like this. Then to top off our family vacation, we visit the West Wing. The one in Hollywood? No, the one in D.C. Ooh, can't wait. A year was a long ways away. We think of something to get out of that one by then. Oh no, Lorena! Lorena completely forgot about the other part of the prize. A lifetime supply of lettuce. Amor y lechuga was going to be in our lives forever. Lechuga para la familia. Lettuce for the family. <laughs> 